Over the years, it's been theorized that monster legends for creatures like werewolves or vampires were based off of, at the time, unknown diseases like rabies. I have a theory that legends of demons may have originated from people with hepatic encephalopathy from cirrhosis of the liver. Now, of course, I'm not trying to insult or demean patients with this disease. I'm saying that I could see how a society hundreds of years ago, with no knowledge of liver disease as we now know it, could consider a person suffering from this end-stage disease to actually be possessed by another force. Now, people with cirrhosis who develop hepatic encephalopathy, which is confusion from the buildup of toxins that the liver would normally help clear, become acutely confused, not acting like themselves, often muttering words with no meaning. High ammonia in their blood causes their hands and arms to twitch uncontrollably and unnaturally. These patients typically have drastically changed in their appearance as well, with yellowed skin and eyes from bilirubin buildup, muscle wasting throughout the body from a hypermetabolic state, and a bloated and large belly from ascites buildup. Now, thankfully, we have the ability to manage these complications now, and the ability to cure the disease with a transplant in many cases. But hundreds of years ago, these individuals would seemingly transform into a shell of their former self before passing away without explanation. Without medical understanding, there's only so many ways you could try and rationalize that.